Think about a change you want to make or a challenge you're currently facing and notice what feelings come up when you contemplate that. And what do you make of those feelings? Here's what I'm getting at. Any situation can give rise to any number of feelings. And it's actually not the situation that's provoking the feelings. It's our thinking about the situation. So one day thinking about money may make you crazy. Another day thinking about money may make you mildly concerned. And still another day thinking about money might leave you feeling optimistic and positive. And it doesn't necessarily correlate with your bank account. If you reflect on your life, you'll notice times when not having a lot of money made you nervous and other times when you were philosophical about it. The same is true of any situation in life. We think that the feelings we're having about the situation are coming from what's going on around us, coming from the situation. But our feelings can only ever come from our thinking. Now there's so much about this that's important, but here's one of the chief implications. When we understand that our feelings are coming from our thinking, we don't have to take our feelings so seriously. You see, if I think that marketing makes me anxious, then I am going to set up a self-perpetuating cycle in which I, I assign the feeling of anxiety and thoughts of anxiety to marketing. But if I recognize that feeling anxious about marketing is just a response to my in the moment thinking, to my anxious thoughts about marketing in that moment, and they don't have anything to do, those feelings have nothing to do about marketing per se, then I can step back because I know that my thinking and your thinking is part of an ongoing flow. Thought just doesn't hold still. That's not how it works. And because thought is always moving, feelings move too. What interrupts the flow is when you or I get in there and decide that our feelings mean something significant, something problematic, and we get in there and wrestle with them. We get a grip on them. And of course they can't move because we've got that grip on them. So notice, when you're having difficult feelings about a life challenge or a change you want to make, just re recognize that those feelings aren't really giving you information about the challenge or change. They're giving you information about your thinking in the moment. As a human being, you're going to have all kinds of thinking in all kinds of moments. But if you leave it alone, it will always move through and you will default to clearer and healthier and more resourceful thinking. I hope that's helpful.